So, brother Regan, going with Regan Downey diving today. Hopefully, catch something. Joe's gonna show me his secret spot, so. <laughs> if we catch. Nah. <laughs> and don't forget nothing, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go holo holo. Oh, look, Regan forgot his fins. Suck. Good thing he had those extra fins in the back of his truck. Nah, but I think he was just trying to give me a chance though. Look at this guy showing off. We was actually going for taco, but then Regan came across this nice goldfish or Moano and shot it right be right through the eye. So it's a really good shot. I'm gonna on this episode I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to cook this type of fish or any other kind of goldfish. This doesn't work good on any surgeon fish or things that eat limu, but any kind of white white fish would be really good. Okay, what's up guys? I'm gonna just show you a really quick way to steam fish. A lot of us are working parents or just really busy and say, I don't have time to bust out a steamer and to make a really good meal. You can actually make a really good meal uh, fast. Uh, and this is a quick, the quickest and easiest way to steam a fish. I, in real time, this will probably take only about four to five minutes depending on the size of the fish. So of course you're gonna clean and scale your fish and do that at the beach, but I already did it already, so I'm just gonna score it. This will help it uh, to cook evenly, steam better. More, basically more surface area. So I like to go one, two, three, all the way to the bone. One, two, three, cross hatch. It's all gonna be even, really evenly steamed. So now all we're gonna do is gonna go surround wrap this bad boy. That. All right, that's one. This one's a little bit bigger than a plate, so I'm gonna put one more just to make sure it kind of steams itself. All right. To make sure it have a nice tight seal, just go to the microwave. Put this bad boy. Uh, we'll go four minutes. Okay, all you need is that and rice and you're pretty much set. Okay, I'm gonna make a really quick sauce. This is um, only three ingredients basically, so I think everybody could have this at home. Really simple, no really special ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is just make a sauce for the fish once it's fall steaming. So maybe about that much show you, depending on how much you want. So this is a little bit show you. Put that on uh, medium high. Um, add a little sugar so it, this will actually almost make like a teriyaki glaze in a way and then whatever is for the sweetness however much you want to put I'm gonna also use garlic chili oil there's multiple brands but any, anyone will be good and this isn't hot so it may look hot but it's not hot at all it's just crispy garlic chips in a flavored oil. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, we're gonna bring this to a slight boil, then turn down the heat and just reduce it down. I'm just dissolving the sugar. Give it a quick taste. Might need a little more sugar. And if you want, you could add like hoisin, oyster sauce, whatever flavor profile that you would like for your dish. Like I might add a little oyster sauce. <laughs> I kind of like oyster sauce with my steamed fish, that's why. Okay. So not too much. I like to actually use the Lee Kung Ki brand. The panda one is a little salty to me. Mix that in well. That's right about there. All right, that'll work. Alright. Alright, just 
Does that just come up to town? If you use actually, uh, if you have ginger or garlic laying around, it'd be really good if you throw that into it. It'll add way more flavor to the sauce. But since we're impressed on time, I actually supposed to meet a couple friends in town uh, that are visiting, so. But I'm still willing to make my family a really good meal. Um, we try to eat healthy in this house, so. This will give you a good example of how fast a good meal is. As you can see, it's already starting to bubble. So that's what you want. You want it just to bubble, reduce a little, but just remember there is sugar in here. So sugar tends to burn, so make sure you give it a constant stir. There you go, beautiful. Once it starts to bubble, or boil I should say, you can reduce it down to maybe a medium or medium low. Close, close, closer to low. And what we're doing is just bringing it down, cause you don't want to burn it. You're just gonna reduce it down just a little. So by the time, the fish is done, this should be perfectly done. So young, you're gonna have a perfectly cooked steamed fish and a sauce to go with it in four to five minutes. Actually, perfect timing. There we go. Be careful, it's gonna be hot. Watch out, it's gonna steam in your face too. But look at that, that's pretty amazing. See how it starts to fall apart? Be careful taking off the saran wrap. It's super hot and it's gonna steam in your face. So, whoo, hot. All right, boom. You can tell that it's cooked by just how it's falling, flaking off. We got it's flaking off, really perfect, nice and soft. Yeah, beautiful, perfectly cooked. Now, you're gonna just take the sauce right here. Looks how it's nice and glazed. I'm just gonna slide it on over. Just coat the fish. If you want, just coat it, put a little green onion, fresh green onion from the yard. And boom. Four minute steam fish start to end. All right guys, remember fish safe and fish with aloha. See you guys on the next one.